Give me one. Hello, second. everyone. Gotta mess with my mic real quick. Go ahead, John. Take it away. This is John. I am here, and we are about to do some weird stuff. Uh, some competitive stuff involving Doom. Uh, we are going to uh, have uh, Ian, who's more of a seasoned vet, uh, setting a par time for me, uh, time to beat, and I'm going to see if um, if I can jump in there and beat that time after you know watching his runs several times to see if I can just memorize strats and memorize. So, uh, originally, yeah. the idea was that maybe I would do a. Um... Uh, 100% monsters kill run, uh, so that uh, he had somewhat of a chance if he if was ignoring things like that to get a uh, you know a, a comparable time. Um, the trouble is, I was trying to do a 100% monster run for a few hours today, and I just don't remember where shit is well enough to do it, uh, and I wasn't able to get 100% on most of the maps, even though I uh, you know obviously been playing them for for years. But uh, I think it'll yeah, uh, and. The that would have been very difficult for me as well, because I, I I get easily confused. I have the memory of a uh, when it comes to to shooters, I have the memory of a gold, and I'll be like, wait, was I in this door? Okay, yeah. Wait, was I in that door? Okay, yeah. Wait, where's the other door? And I'll be just like looking around, touching every wall for like thirty minutes every level. And as the levels. Uh get quote-unquote more complex their way of doing that is to just have you backtrack which is not super creative but hey this was one of the you know first games to really do it at all so we cut him slack anyway so what we're gonna do is a pistol start the this isn't the menu you would normally see we're playing the brutal doom mod which changes a ton of stuff if you already know about it great if not we'll tell you little things about it as we go along uh, and that'll give John something to talk about while he's thinking, shit, there's no way I'm going to beat this time. Uh, also, we're going to start off with Knee Deep in the Dead. Uh, unfortunately, nobody was watching when I streamed it earlier, and I did not have my Twitch settings set correctly, so the footage is gone. And I was not recording locally, so pretty much checked every box of what you should not do when you're streaming. Yep. And uh, just it's totally, gone. yeah. It's all gone. It's completely friggin' gone. I lost a, like, something like a 34, 35 minute uh, deathless, saveless, uh, ultra violence run on uh, Brutal, and I was pretty proud of that. Um, one of the things you'll notice is the enemies are much harder in Brutal Doom. Ultra violence is harder than traditional ultra violence. So I'm not doing crazy stuff like actually trying to beat real people's speed records or anything like that. Now, also, it's built upon the GZ Doom uh, uh, engine, so it will um, allow me to mouse look and run and jump and things. But I'm going to avoid jumping to finish levels super quickly whenever possible, because uh, I just don't really like that. It's not super fun. And it'll give John the opportunity to do it if he's falling behind, like way behind. So uh, I'm going to leave that open for him. Um, I might do it to pick up like a power-up or something, just because, you know, screw it, why not? But, um... Uh, you get the idea. We're going to uh, start off with uh, uh, Knee Deep in the Dead. And uh, I think for the first level, I am you. just going to rip through it as fast as I can because the first level is extremely short. But from that point on, I'm going to just play it at a normal pace, quick pace for me, but a normal pace. Um, and it would be considered pretty damn slow for a speedrunner, and it should give John a pretty high bar to meet. We'll see how it goes. Hope you enjoy. Uh, at some point, you should try listening to the stream and letting me know if my volume is way too quiet. It probably is. And I'll just dial that back just a little bit more. And skill level. Ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. Ultra violence. This is a custom level, or if this is a custom level, and or it's your first time playing, blah, 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 blah. You'd have to be some kind of complete nerd to be worried about that. I think your audio is perfect. You're well balanced. <laughs> all right, we saw how well oh, that went. All right, right off the, right off the rip. Damage boost, get some damage boost on. Oh, I lost significantly more health than I was hoping to lose during that portion, but uh, ah, I tied my 15 seconds. Uh, brutal best for that, nothing too exciting there. That's going to make All nuclear right. plant fun now that I have, like, no health and didn't pick up anything special. Well, you, you scored a birdie there. It was way under par. Basically, with the way the random uh, damage is calculated and uh, the fact that these are hit-scanning enemies, I could be killed very fucking quickly. 
And uh, also the explosive barrels in this uh, mod do significantly more damage and they also... Uh, Fragment? They fragment and they have like a sort of delayed blast thing that they do where if you blow it up in regular Doom and then run into it, it doesn't do any damage. It's just like where you are when the barrel explodes. But in this mod, if you blow it up and run into it, you take a ton of damage. Uh, there it is. Okay, good. Couldn't remember where that was. So that's going to slow me down a ton. Normally I don't have to get as much health, but... Uh, as you saw, I tried to speedrun the first one, which in Brutal, they did not really design for you to do speedrunning so much with uh, a way... Nice Thank you. With the way that explosions work and how much damage they do, it's really just, it would be pretty cruel to try to seriously speedrun this game. That guy blended in. He had camo. It was working for him. Oh yeah, he was like inside the door. And he still didn't die even though I friggin' pumped him full of lead. Well, he's, he's, uh, he's John McClane in zombie form. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Ooh, tactical maid. generally uh, don't use a ton of nades in Brutal either, but um, some rooms will just save you, like, forever. Alright. Ugh! 45 seconds off par. That's pretty sad. That's okay, though. We're up to level 3, and we're under 2 minutes, so averaging less you're, than a minute. You're still way under what I think I'm going to do. <laughs> Look how it's poisoned. That is one of the uh, first and only pits in this game that is 100% inescapable if you fall in it. So, ow, fudge me. So you really don't want to do that. God, that hurt. The barrels are yeah. really something else in this in this mod. Your, your dude's face was all screaming for like five seconds. Yeah, he was unhappy. Whoa, that was funny. My clothes would be ruined. In falls. Oh, that's that's a neat effect. Door closes on body, it comes up dripping. Oh yeah, it has that. It has a lot of the Duke Nukem effects, uh, which was the build engine on steroids. So makes sense. Oh, I, I had a lot of a lot of time on Duke Nukem. No, uh, same here. Um, I think. A lot of uh, what made the level design quote unquote better was really more just texture stuff uh, because they just made good ass looking backgrounds to things that made things feel, feel realistic. And yeah, you had a lot of the uh, in, in interactivity, which was really cool. And you know, beyond just oh, touching yeah. switches, even just shooting like you know a shelf and having it break or whatever that kind of stuff. God, Listen, come on. as a as a former middle schooler, there was a moment. Uh, the, my first experience with the game was uh, going to my friend Steve's house, which, which uh, you know, the middle one. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I, I won't go too many names, but uh, you know who he is. Um, and he knew the he knew the uh, cheats for two people, you know, the one that makes you have infinite cash. When you walk around, you, you uh, leave a trail of cash, and uh, you just oh yeah, it. I forgot about that one. That's fun. Yeah, you, you can just throw an infinite piles of wads of cash at the. Uh, so, you know, we, we sat there for a good, oh man, what must have been four and a half minutes or Just so. Just being like, boobs, Just, heck yeah, bro. Hey, shake, baby. Shake it off. Shake it off. You want to dance? Baby. His dad walks in. He's like, oh, Steve. Like, his dad, says, his dad walks in. And it's like watching us do this for a good solid 30 seconds. Before he starts. Like, <laughs> before he's like, Steve. Before he says the name on. you were trying not to say. <laughs> oh, wait, I guess that's not something that uh, anybody could figure anything out from. All righty, got what I came here for. Hey, super help. Freaking, come on, dude. Oh, he's dancing, he's dancing. 
They can dance all day, can dance all day, try and hit me. Rocket launcher, come on, come on, come on. We gotta go fast, 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 gotta go fast. Backpack, hell yeah. Extra secret within a secret, all right. Who would have known I'd known about that? Nobody. Back to here. Now for episode one, uh, as part of this challenge, you do have to do it um, the, the secret level. Blindfolded. No, the secret level, which is where I'm, I'm showing you where that is right now. Alright. So it's another reason why I wasn't doing a 100% kill run, because if you do this part quickly, then you avoid an entire huge chunk of the map. All right, now this next level is like hard because it's a secret level. Uh, what are we at? Ooh. 405, we're at 622 total for level four. That's not fantastic. I was sluggish because I kept hurting myself. And this is one place where I use a grenade. Oh yeah, uh, I used that. Ooh. You were in the firing range for a, a half second there. You got it. It was real sketchy, but you got it. Fucking invisible pig flew right in front of my damn face as I was doing that. Ooh. You blew yourself up? A lot. I blew myself up a lot. I had 170 health or something insane like that going into this. Yeah, the neat thing about these higher um, difficulties is, uh, you know, you're, you're always only a few seconds away from taking near mortal damage. Oh, yeah, for sure. Especially the Barons of Hell. Instead of doing, um, you know, their usual, like, 45 or whatever insane damage when they hit you, they can just do like 95 now. Uh, which just ends your life almost every freaking time if they touch you. Uh, they can also shoot a triple blast, which is unique to this mod. Keep focused. <laughs> You'll also notice uh, I pick up a lot of extra armor bonuses and things like that because this game, I mean, it's not like regular Doom, dude. <laughs> it looks like it, but it's much fucking harder. Yeah, yeah. Oh, see, look at that. I already killed that guy, but he's on his friggin' knees taking up taking pot shots at me from the damn ground. I thought that opened a thing, but I can't freaking see. Oh, it did. Oh, God. Whoa. Uh-oh. Man, that was almost the end of it, dudes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You got chewed on. Boy, did I get chewed on. Holy crap. I was supposed to come up there, and that's where all the pigs are. I was supposed to go up there faster so that uh, I showed up behind the pigs, and then I could just do that to them. So here's a spot that if John's falling behind on, I'll let him jump to complete. For example, it's very... Oh, my fuck. It's very easy to finish the level just uh, jumping across that little gap there. All right. Okay. Am I going to be playing it on the same difficulty? You don't have to. You can do it on like Hurt Me Plenty or whatever. It actually probably would be a good way of uh, evening it out somewhat. You gotta, you gotta come up with all the rules. Cause, uh, That's true. I mean, we're here to sort of think them out loud. 
Yeah, because uh, if, if I put in a smaller difficulty, uh, like lower difficulty, then uh, you know, I, uh, I probably shouldn't get. Uh, I definitely won't be able to have bragging rights. Right, but you'll still be able to say you won the challenge. That's that's all. And then you know, okay, if you win cool. the challenge with ease, you can always freaking go for the big time. Try to do it on the same difficulty. Well, uh, I, I fuck me. I took a lot of Let my hubris get the better. Of, oh wow, you got shoes on. You sure did. Bad. Jeez, that was not a not a nice finish. That was almost 100% kills. Yep. That's rough. All right, this level's kind of fun. I remember liking this one somewhat. Some little dread string of text to say. Uh, you know, I'm not sure actually. I've caught it a few times, but I never really paid enough attention to read it properly. It's probably something like uh, an update is waiting to be installed. Please power down. Please flash the firmware. This uh, megahertz is not supported. Please choose a time to shut down your demon infected <laughs> moon gate. <laughs> Updates include demons now properly chew on both arms. UAC logs. Yep, yep. You passed a little help on the shelf there. It's a little belt fed chain gun action that I really like. This is the closest thing to the original Doom chain gun. Because uh, the new minigun is, is great and all, but the bullets do significantly less damage than this one does. You go through them significantly faster. Oh crap. Oh yeah. This is like a swastika. Almost. Ooh. Well, okay. Uh, it's got one or two extra edges, so it's not exactly good. Yeah, they really, really uh, come the line with that one. All right, so I screwed this up. When I did this on the first playthrough, I did this in the right order. Um, this time I did it in the wrong order, and I showed up at the exit before having lifted the damn gate. do that <laughs> see how that gave me 20 hit points of damage even though I was all the way over here and yet it didn't kill either of those friggin things somehow that they uh, had the chain gun in there because that, um, I mean, that's definitely a crowd favorite for people who played through Wolfenstein 3D before Doom came out. True. That gun was cool. But uh, I'm not sure that it makes sense for the, the, the lore of Doom. Yeah, none of it really does. I mean, why would they be using, like, a wood-handled shotgun in friggin' 21300 yeah. or whatever the hell? <laughs> well, the, the shotgun I could see, you know, keeping one of those handy for close encounters. Sure, but this would be like such an old relic, it'd be in a museum by the time. Well, the, the chain gun would be even older. 
or about as old. It's true. Like this, I mean, uh, this you're talking chain gun, you're almost talking like hand crank. Well, this particular, there's plenty of belt fed chain guns that aren't belt, that aren't hand crank, like the M249 and the Negev and stuff. Yes, but with, uh, with the rotating barrel. Oh, oh, the handheld minigun thing? Yeah, that's like never yeah. really became a thing. That's, yeah. It's sort of like the jetpack of guns. Like, you can put them on an airplane yep. just fine, but they never really made a nice handheld one. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Even those big, like, ones you're talking about were uh, huge and they had, like, tripods or whatever. Yeah, they were, like, vehicle mounted or something. Good lord, I just took 40 friggin' damage from that. Ooh, yeah, and you were around the corner, too. I know. That used to not do damage. Well, in regular Doom, it doesn't. You get, uh... You get hurt through walls by explosions. It's like they, they added something to the engine to make them super friggin' brutal, the explosions, that is, and it somehow caused it to fuck with everything. Well, I mean, uh... It makes sense if you're in an enclosed area, you know, the, uh, the air pressure wave that hits you that really uh, does you in, that goes out in all directions. Right, but the wall would eat up some of that. Uh, yeah. Which, maybe it did, I probably would have taken much more than the damage I did if I hadn't been behind that wall. Smile, you son of a bitch! Now this uh, this next part coming up is an absolute run killer if you're not careful. They're about to dump a ton of dudes on us, and uh, oh. and they pop out of doors on all sides of a circular room, so it can be quite a pain in the ass to get out of there. It's like a good room for a maid. I only got six of those, I'm gonna have to be sparing. I also don't know where I get them from. They just sort of show up sometimes in my inventory. <laughs> uh -huh. right. Steven's having trouble with that elevator. Rise up, he rides down, he rides up, rides down. Not sure what button does what. Fuck! Stupid elevator physics fucked me! Seriously, that has not happened in any of my prior playthroughs. It's fine. We can't go up here yet anyway. This is a secret for after we finish this room. Yeah, your buddy just went through a teleporter. He's right there. Time. He came back. Now that oh, just fucking sucks. Back. Just landing right on a goddamn piggy. Yeah. Fell right into his mouth. Got him, buddy? You saved him? Cool. Alright, I'll do this real quick so that I can A, buy some John some time, and B, buy some survival chances for me. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the level I most remember playing. Um, like I, I mentioned in text, uh, I played this game, uh, Native Port, on the Nokia N900 phone. Oh, yeah! While uh, sitting on the can at work, you know, about ten years ago. That's a great on the can game. It was uh, difficult, to say the least. Oh, I'm sure the controls were real precise and easy to manage. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a keyboard that was, uh, you know, it was a, it was a horizontal slider. The keyboard was wide. Wider, so it was easier than 
if it were like a BlackBerry, but right. not as easy as if it were like a big IBM PS2 keyboard. You see me catch four of those damn fireballs? Look how good I, I am. I I'm, do. You're catching them. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. God, I hate pigs, dude. If, if they were if they were baseballs, I'd be super proud of you, son. <laughs> Come on, dude, stop getting in the darn way. We gotta go in the friggin' dark ass scary room now that I really, really, really hate. Oh my god. Fuck! Ouch. Well, there goes that right, run. We'll, uh, that was one hey, of the hey. places I got really lucky before. Technically, that means I'm allowed one death on my run now. No, this run's dead. Oh. There's nothing exciting about watching somebody lose. 